Hello Create Schools. Today I want to make sure that you understand the containment policy. So I've taken just this short video to break it down. Um, you need the containment policy. We learn about it in Chapter 4. and Chapter 5 you really need to understand how it works because Chapter 5 is all about was the containment policy successful. If you don't understand what it is, you don't understand whether it's successful or not. So go ahead and write these notes down. You can keep them in your chapter four and chapter five notes. Um, but if you want, need to just put them in one chapter, just put them in with chapter five. But it actually wouldn't hurt for you to write them down twice. Okay, so pause here, write this down, containment policy explained, and we'll move on and actually explain it. Okay, so the containment policy is within the Truman Doctrine. And if you remember with the Truman Doctrine, um, excuse me, if you remember, Truman received a long telegram from the guy that was in Moscow. And it says that if we do not do anything because of Russian's insecurities, they are going to spread like wildfire and that we need to contain them. And that word came from him saying that, it created the containment policy, or the Truman Doctrine, which has two parts, the containment policy and the Marshall Plan. Okay, I'll repeat that. The Truman Doctrine is within two parts, the containment policy and the Marshall Plan. And within the Marshall Plan, there is Marshall Aid. Basically, Marshall's plan came up with the fact that you need Marshall Aid. But you need to know both of those words, or actually all four of those words, or you will get confused in case they ask it one way and you only have it memorized the other way. So let me go ahead and break down the containment policy and the Marshall Plan. So pause the video here, write this down, and I'll go on to the next slide and explain those two. So. The containment policy basically, in my words, says those who are not already communist, excuse me, those who are already communist may remain communist. Those who are not communist, the USA will not allow them to become communist. So it's containing it. If you think of a container is something that holds something. So if you think of a bottle of water, the bottle of water, the bottle is containing the water. If the water is already in the bottle, that's fine. It can stay there. But we will not let the water leave the bottle. It needs to stay within the bottle. So it's the same way that um, communism is. It's okay where it is behind the Iron Curtain. But it doesn't, they don't want to let it spread from without, from the, into the outside, outside of the Iron Curtain. Okay? Now, Marshall went to Europe to decide what he could do. And there's a whole thing about the Truman Doctrine and explaining the Marshall Plan. So take a look at that if you need to know the details. But what he did is he came up with the fact we needed to give money. Okay, so the basic of Marshall Aid is we're going to loan money to any country that needs help to rebuild after World War II. The money needs to be paid back to the United States. And once their economy is running, the country needs to trade with the United States. Now, none of those need to be seen as something bad. Sometimes I've had people say, ooh, they have to trade with the United States. Well, that doesn't mean they can't trade with other countries. And actually, it's good if someone says, okay, you breed your, rebuild your economy, and when you're ready to trade, I'm here to trade with you. That means they don't have to find a trading partner, because there's nothing worse than having a product made and no one wanting to buy it. And the United States is already saying, we will buy it. Okay, so that's a good thing. Now, Stalin did not let any of his Eastern European countries accept Marshall Aid, since he didn't want them to trade with the United States. Stalin said, you communist people need to trade within the communist people and trade within this group. And he came up with um, policies and ideas in order to make sure that happens. That is in Chapter 6. There will be a whole section about that that you can look. Uh, that's a Comic-Con and Common Form and uh, Warsaw Pact. Okay? So, Stalin saw this Marshall Plan, this Truman Doctrine, as a way for the USA to control other countries. In fact, it actually kind of was. The United States is saying, take this money, don't become communist, we'll be your friends. I mean, that is 
basically they're saying come play with us don't go play with them so Stalin should have been suspicious as that's what they're doing because that is what's happening now if Stalin would have let the Eastern European countries accept the martial aid and allowed them to trade with the United States, but still said, you know, you can have trade with whoever you want, but we're still together and it's still our party together and we just can let people trade outside of our party. Maybe things would have had a total different way and a total different unfolding and history would not be the same as it is today. We don't know. That's one of the things we can speculate on. But Stalin said, no, Eastern Europe cannot trade with the, um, or receive martial aid. Now, I told you about a little bit in, about this in another video. The um, Yugoslavia, Tito, decided he was accepting the martial aid. He accepted the martial aid. He is still communist, but he actually traded with the United States and was friendly with the United States and did not join the Warsaw Pact, the group of communist countries. Okay, I hope that helped you. Please, you can pause the video here in a second when I'm done. I hope this helped explain the three parts and make sure you know all four words and how they work together. The Truman Doctrine, the Containment Policy, the Marshall Plan, and under the Marshall Plan is the Marshall Aid. Okay, so these four words or four concepts are extremely important to make sure you remember all three because they could say this when they ask you the question, they can ask any words, and those all four words needs to trigger all of this information in your head. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.